Hello guys, welcome to Cloudtech. So in today's video, we are going to solve uh, three important programs. First one is anagram checker. The second one is palindrome checker. And the third one is finding the longest word in a sentence. So these questions were asked in variety of uh, companies. So we are going to solve them. So let's get to our first program, which is anagram checker. So we'll be given two string in this uh, problem. And we need to find if uh, both the string are anagram. So let's try to understand what it is. So string one is EBC and string two is CBA. So anagram is where all the characters of string one are present in string two. If you see ABC, all the characters of uh, string one are there in string two and hence both the string are anagram. So to solve this problem, we are going to take help of uh, integer array. So this is a very important concept. If you solve like this, then there are high chances of you getting connected. Consider this, uh, we'll create an integer array uh, of length 26. So integer array starts from zero and uh, the last index will be 25. So what we do, uh, we take character of string one and we identify the index of that character. For example, A is uh, A will go at character, A will go at index zero, B will go at index one and C will go at index two. So whenever we encounter a character, we increment the value at that index. For example, we get A, so we increment the value at zeroth index. We encounter B, so we increment the value at that index. We encounter um, C, we increment the value at that index. Now what we do? We iterate through string two. So we have C. So C is what? C is at character, C is at index two. So we decrement the value from one to zero because, because we already got that character in string two. Then we encounter B, and then we decrement this value. And finally we encounter A, and then we decrement this value. And what we do? Finally, we iterate through this array and check if all the values are zero. And if anything is non-zero, that means it is present in string one, but not in string two or vice versa. So by using this logic, we are going to solve this problem. So this is going to be very interesting. Let's try to write the logic. So for writing the logic, I'm going to write a public a static method. It is just going to return a Boolean because it is just going to inform me if it is anagram or not. So Boolean. Uh, method name can be anything, but I am writing R anagram, and this is going to accept two string variables. So string str1, comma string str2. So these are the two variables. Now, what is next? For simplicity, I'll return false because to avoid any errors. But this is not going to be my final logic. I have to write the final logic. Um, the first thing, the string should be of equal length to be anagram. If two strings are of different length, then I'm pretty sure uh, those are not anagram. So let me write the precondition uh, str1 dot length. If it is not equal to str2 dot length. So I'll straight away return false because I know they are not anagram because string should be of equal length. Then uh, if this condition is satisfied, I'll move to uh, the next step, which is having integer array, as we discussed, integer array of what length? Integer array of 26 length. The so character count equal to new integer array of 26. So it will be from zero to 25. What is next step? Next step is uh, iterating through all the characters of string one and then incrementing the value at that index. So let's try to solve this. For integer i equal to zero, i is less than string one dot length and then i do i plus plus so while iterating through string one i'll try to identify the index for that character so how to identify that this is a trickiest part so character count this is my array what i should do i should do string one dot uh, character at i i'm going to identify the character itself and then subtract the ASCII value of A. So this will give me, for example, the first character is A. A minus A is what? A minus A is zero because 97 minus 97. 97 is the ASCII value of A. So this will go at zeroth index. And what I'll do, I'll try to increment the value at that index. So this will increment the value at zeroth position when we encounter A. Similarly, uh, we will iterate through our second string, which is str2. And whenever we encounter A, we are going to decrement the value at that index. So let's try to solve this. Integer i equal to zero. 
i is less than in this case str2 dot uh, length nothing special we are just iterating from a zero till a length and we do i plus plus and i'm going to copy this but the trickiest part is uh, this time when we encounter that instead of adding we are going to subtract so we are going to decrement this or oh, we added one extra bracket so first time we are incrementing and the second time we are decrementing so finally if both are anagram then the value at that index should be zero so how we are going to do that what we are going to check we are going to check the character count and see if there is any non-zero value present so integer count i'm just uh, in, i'm just um, iterating over my character count array using enhanced for loop and then we are checking if uh, count is not equal to zero in this case i'm sure it is not anagram then i'm going to return what false return false in all other cases when we iterate to this and we are sure a false is not written then we are going to return true it's an, an anagram so we wrote the logic now let's try it's time to test the logic so let's test it i have two strings abc and cba i know it's anagram so if i'm going to call my method we just wrote and we are going to pass string one and string two so if it returns true then it will enter this f block so let's do uh sys out strings are anagram strings are anagram else what else we know it written false and hence strings are not anagram so I'm going to write um, string not anagram. All right. Well, it's time to test if it works or not. So run run the application. Strings are anagram because all the characters are present. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to write def. In this case, strings are not anagram, and hence it should give string one. Is yeah, we should be doing string two dot carrot. So let's try to run this. I'll run this and see uh, strings not anagram. So that was the mistake. We used uh, str1. We should have used str2. So I corrected it and it worked fine. All right. We solved our first problem. Let's move to the next problem, which is a palindrome checker. In palindrome checker, uh, we already know. So if we'll be given a string and uh, in that string, we have to check if from the forward direction and from the reverse direction, if the string is same or not. So Consider this example, a race car. So if you read from here, R-A-C-E-C-A-R, race car. If I read from backward direction, R-A-C-E-C-A-R. So our duty is to identify what is palindrome or not. Now let's try to uh, write the logic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write a public method. Uh, it is going to be static. And then it is going to return Boolean. It's just going to say me if it is palindrome or not. So is palindrome and it is going to accept a string string str all right now what i have to do i have to um i'm going to take two counters so the first one is going to be left counter and the second one is going to be right counter the left counter is going to start at zero the right counter is going to start at length minus one so let's declare two counter uh left equal to zero as we discussed and integer uh, right is going to be length minus one so what what is the length uh string dot uh length and then minus one so I have two counters. I'll take the character at left counter. I'll take the character at right counter and then uh, try comparing those two characters. If those two characters are same, then I'll increment the left counter and decrement the right counter. So let's try to uh, write the logic. A while uh, left is less than right. So I have to perform this logic until left is less than right. And we have to check the character at left and character at right for equality. So let's try to do that uh, character at uh, left, all right. And we are going to check if those two characters are not equal. So if they are not equal, we are sure it's not a palindrome and we are going to return false and break. Uh, char at right. If they are not equal, then I'm going to return false from this method. I'm sure it's not a palindrome. Else, what I'm going to do, else I'm going to do a left plus plus, increment the left counter and take the next character and write minus minus, decrement the right counter and take the next character. And if it passes all this logic, then finally I'm going to return 
true at this stage i'm pretty sure the string is palindrome all right so we now wrote the logic it's time to test it so let's try to call this method so how to test this i'm going to write a if condition and i'm going to do uh, is palindrome and i'm going to pass the str so if it is palindrome as we generally do sys out uh, string is palindrome palindrome and this i'm going to write uh, sys out not a palindrome not a palindrome all right so it's time to test it uh, race car is a palindrome so let's try to see if it is palindrome string is palindrome our logic worked and i'm going to pass um, hello so hello is not a palindrome we all know that so not a palindrome so we solve this problem by using two counters uh one is uh, left and one is right or one is starting at zero the other is starting at length minus one now when you encounter this in your interview hope you are able to solve this let's move to the third uh, problem longest word finder here we will be given a sentence and from the sentence you have to find the word with the longest length here you can see the longest length uh, word is program so well, let's try to solve this this is a simple one and uh, you should be able to solve this in interview so um, public uh, static uh, string because we have to find the longest word the longest word is what it's a string so um, find a longest word all right and it is going to accept the sentence so i'm going to write string sentence all right so uh, what we are going to do the first thing we are going to do is split the sentence into words how to split it uh, we take a um, sentence and we use something called as uh, split and we split by what we split by space all right so the split will give us uh, the array of string so this will give us string array and i'm going to name that thing as words uh, it will be all the words in my sentence now what's next uh, let's try to come up with a string uh, and initialize to it as empty string so longest word i'm going to make it as empty string all right now i'm going to iterate through all the words that we just created so for string word from words while iterating what we need to do we need to check the length of each word so if the current word that we have uh, that is while iterating the current length of the word if it is greater than uh, the longest word so then my the length of longest word become my current word so longest word dot length so let's try to assign longest word equal to word i'm just iterating over the words and trying to find the length of the longest word and finally i'm going to return the longest word all right so this will give me the longest word uh, let's try to uh, run this logic and test it so how to test this the first thing i'm going to do is uh, there's an input sentence the next thing i'm going to do is call my method so string longest word equal to call the function and pass the input sentence great and now the next thing i'm going to do is um, i'm going to just sys out my longest word whatever string that is passed from my children so let's try to run this program when i run this program i get uh, the program so the next thing is um, i'll just change it this is uh this is run so let's try to this sentence doesn't make sense but uh, the longest word is this because it has four characters hope this is helpful for you if you like the content please subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching